Hey guys, this is Andy with Jetter Depot. Today we're going to be talking about Picote's original chains and how to set them up on your millers. Okay, again we're talking about the original chain setup from Picote. These are all six inch and we have them in every different size you can think of from inch and a quarter all the way up to 12. Um, so all these different types here, um, some are newer than others, but I'll start from this side. This is a PVC chain. This is a drill head PVC chain. The original chain, this is one of the first ones that Picote came out with. The premium came next. Uh, tiger chains uh, more recently, and then the drill head tiger chains. Um, these all have different uses. Um, you know, anything that has the carbide teeth on them on this end is going to be used in cast clay, concrete. Um, basically any kind of scale, roots, that kind of thing that you're going to run up against. Um, whereas the stuff that doesn't have the, the teeth on them, that's going to be for your PVC chains, your ABS, but basically any kind of plastic line. Um, so one of the most common questions we get is, you know, you just got your miller, you're trying to set it up, you want to know exactly how these chains are set up. Are they here? Are they there? What are we doing? Um, so I wanted to kind of take a quick minute to kind of go over that. Um, and this is just a, a basic shaft. And again, whether you're using a, um, a leader set up like this or you're just going onto the miller itself, you should be able to get a good idea uh, once we're done today. Uh, but basically, what you really wanna do is have one on the end. You don't necessarily want anything sticking out here that's gonna catch out on any kind of um, you know, uh, bends or, or, or turns or even into joints. So we want that to be all the way to the end, nice and flush. What I generally will do is just hold these up to where it looks about like a hammock, um, or rather a comfortable hammock, <laughs> because if you're in one that's like this, that's not gonna be very comfortable, and the same thing is true here. So what I like to do is to get it to about here, and then just tighten it up temporarily. Um, in a second, we're going to go over to this pipe and I'll show you what it looks like, but that's about right. Uh, so when we're tightening all of these down, these are all four mil. Anything on half inch uh, or with the tiger chains is, is a four mil. Um, and what you want to do is, you know, you want to be snug, but then you want to go another quarter of a turn. Um, that's true all the way around. So here, we're going to end up putting it about right there. We want to make sure our links are in line as well. Um, if we start getting any of this business going on, as you can see, that's going to change you know, the overall size. So we want to line these up and make them a mirror image. So again, we're going to get our hammock about right there. And I'll generally just put in one for right now. This is before I put it in the pipe. I want to spin this right in front of the pipe to make sure that this is going to be opening up in fact, wider than what I'm about to go into. Again, more on that later. Um, but the biggest thing to consider when you're setting up these chains, and you notice I've got a piece of casing inside of here, um, the teeth, they don't really care if they're chewing up roots or scale or the cable itself. So we put this protective casing that we trim back right back inside of here to protect that cable. Um, on top of that, whether we're between the sleeve bearing and the chain itself or any tooling, we want to make sure we don't have a huge gap here. Um, you get your strength from the casing as well as the cable itself. If you have just one right here and it's just wide open, something like this, you can have binding issues, it can break, you can have all sorts of issues. So what we really want to do, and, and my rule is to basically have anything less than a, f a finger's width between here and here. Now that goes uh, the same when you're on a sleeve bearing uh, to a shaft connector, uh, where you're connecting this to your cable, or uh, even when you're doing extensions on both sides. Okay, so once I get my chain to this hammock uh, position we were talking about, uh, what I really like to do is to spin this chain um, right outside of the pipe before I go in. Um, and that way I know if I need to adjust this one way or the other, I can do so. Um, those were all sixes. This, of course, is a four. Um, so I've got this on a mini miller, again, with the PVC chain. Um, and so when I spin this, you should see that that chain is a little bit wider than the ID of my pipe here. Um, if I were to take and, and to clean this pipe, 
by having it set exactly right, that the widest point, really all I'm going to get is a whole lot of work on this one link. It's going to wear your chains out very quickly. Uh, so what we really want to do is to have all of those links working. And so this is why we oversize it a bit. Um, you could even make it a, a little bit wider even than the outside diameter. It will depend on the, on the pipe wall itself, but I would say that uh, as long as we're going a little bit bigger than the inside of that, uh, you should be good to go. One other thing to keep in mind when you're, when you're sizing, uh, if you put your chain in there immediately and it starts to do this tumbling, yeah, that, what that's telling you is that your chain is either too short or too long. Uh, what we really want is our, our cable to stay, for the most part, centralized in the pipe and not be whipping around doing this tumbling business. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so a couple other things I wanted to mention. Um, really these original chains, again, in whatever size you get them, uh, is probably the most common tool you'll use. Uh, they are quite aggressive, um, but it's, they, they come down to really being a primary tool. So it's generally what you'd want to use first. Um, so say you're in that six inch pipe, but it's really been necked down to three inch, two inch, something. It's been a long time since it's been cleaned. Uh, these give you the ability, so we know that this is how we are supposed to set them up and that's how you're running them, but if it is really clogged up that much, you can start it back here, give yourself a pilot hole and kind of work yourself back to that appropriate hammock shape we were talking about. Uh, so that's an advantage of using these types of chains. Again, you'll notice behind us we've got you know, all sorts of tools for every application you can imagine. And this is really just the tip of the iceberg. Pacote makes a lot of stuff. <laughs> so uh, if you got questions about any of this stuff, certainly give us a call. Um, we're happy to help again, 866-5-JETTER.